So it's obvious a lot of us are killers. We're here to dominate. We're here to fucking fuck up whoever's in our way. And we all have ambitious goals that we all want to achieve, which is awesome. It's good to have goals, especially in a martial art. Maybe you have that goal of becoming a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or you have that goal of winning like five boxing matches in a row, whatever. But all of that changes once you, all of a sudden, you meet some girl and you start to fall in love with this girl. And, you know, you get into a relationship, you start to spend time with her more and more and more and more till you're spending time with her every single day. And then you get complacent all of a sudden. You don't really have those same goals like you used to. You've given up entirely on your martial art just to please this girl, just to please this five foot two random girl, I guess. And you drop all the goals that you've had, all the goals of achieving greatness just for this shorty. That's unfortunately what happens to some people. They just all, all of a sudden, like they just find that girl. And maybe it's because their whole lives, that's honestly what they've wanted the whole time, really. They wanted a beautiful, loving girl. And that's great. Nothing nothing wrong with that. Of course not. The issue is when you start to get complacent all of a sudden, and you start to sacrifice things, especially goals, that you had just to please this girl. And you're seeing her every single day, and you start to gain weight. You start to dress more like shit. And even, you know, when you start to get... And then guess what? She starts liking you less and less and less. Because she liked you when you had these goals. She liked you when you were ambitious. So there's someone I want to talk about who's exactly like this. I'm obviously not going to say his name. But, you know, I know him through a friend. Like, I'm not really close friends with him. But, like, I kind of know him. And I'm not looking to talk shit about no one. But his, like, but he's the perfect example of what I'm talking about. So this kid, right, you know, I like, I've met him a couple times IRL. Um, he used to post a lot about boxing on Instagram. And I remember him, like, going through a whole weight loss thing. And, you know, he started posting a bunch of photos about him, how he lost weight, and a bunch of videos of him hitting the pads, hitting the boxing bag, and... He had that goal of becoming a good-ass boxer, which is phenomenal, man. That's great. That's awesome. And then I started to see all of a sudden that he got into a relationship with this girl. And he started to post about her a bit and all that. You know, that's great. I'm proud of him. Whatever. And then all of a sudden, he starts posting less about boxing and more about his girlfriend. Which is, you know, like, okay, cool. But, I mean... I really liked it though. I like I respect I respect you, man. Like for trying to become a good boxer, and that's what I liked his uh, posts for, and that's why I liked him because yo, like I I love to see a kid that's ambitious, that's working towards something, and then all of a sudden he starts posting about his girlfriend twenty four seven, and it seems as if he just dropped boxing all of a sudden. He's not really doesn't seem like he's training anymore, and. I saw him the other day at uh, his work. I'm not going to name the place, but I saw him, right? And I was shocked. I was actually shocked. I saw this kid, right? All of a sudden, you know, he has like dyed hair. Uh, I don't fuck with that shit. Like dyeing your hair, weird colors. Like, you know, he has like red dyed hair all of a sudden. And I looked at him. He gained a lot of weight. He gained a, he actually he looked fatter than when you know he was fat and then when he lost weight. So he looked a lot fatter than how he was when he was fat like 2 3 years ago. But then he lost weight, but then he just gained it all back and he looked fat as fuck, bro. Dude, his like stomach was like out here, bro. His stomach was like out here. You know, he looked like a beach ball. And I'm like, what the fuck? This kid has been posting so much about boxing and everything like that. He gets into a relationship. And he just loses all motivation. 
And my, Leo, my respect for him just dropped. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? This is like the unfortunate reality with some people. They meet a girl and like, I'm not dissing like relationships and all that, but you're a fighter. You're here to kill. You're born to kill. You're born to achieve these goals of getting to the fucking top. And you let this fucking bitch change your life completely. And this show, he's not even that attractive, bro. Get, get a more attractive girl in fucking 10 years when you get a belt, bro. You let this girl change everything in your life, man. This is why relationships can really just take away your drive and motivation. This is, this is the reality with a lot of us. We have to keep having that sort of dark mindset where we're here to kill. We're here to fuck up people. We can't really be letting love get inside of us because then all of a sudden we lose that killer instinct. You really have to maintain that anger and dark mindset. Using your anger and rage to fuck people up and relationships can just take that all away, man. We only live once, bro. Honestly. To just go and to drop all your goals, all of these ambitious goals, just for like a 4 out of 10, man. Are you crazy? Honestly, it's so much better for you to either just spend less time with your significant other, see her like maybe like once a week, or just not have love in your life, man. I know that sounds deep as fuck, but you want to become the best, right? You want to get that belt or whatever. You have to drop love. You have to drop love from your life because love makes you complacent. Now, you know, if you get into a relationship and you have self-control and you just see her once a week and she doesn't really get in the way of your goals, fair enough. But the problem is a lot of dudes just don't have that discipline because a lot of dudes just have that, you know, they've had that goal since they were a kid of, oh, getting that beautiful girlfriend. And, you know, and once they get that girlfriend, it's like in their head, it's like as if they've achieved everything they've wanted, even though they had way better other goals. But they just dropped those goals entirely, man. Just for this five foot two, four out of ten, man. It, it, it's sad, bro. It really is sad. You want to become the best. You want to dominate. You have to drop. You want to become the best. You want to dominate. You have to drop love. And you have to embrace the darkness inside your heart, man. Now, if you want to build that unbreakable mindset... To dominate in competition because mindset is the number one thing when it comes to martial arts. Without a good mindset, it doesn't matter how athletic you are, how talented you are, you're going to fail. Then brother, join the community, man. We got a whole bunch of martial artists in there. My goal is to help you, bro, build that unbreakable mindset because mindset is key, man. And without a good mindset, you're fucked. So join the community, man, and I hope to see you there, bro. If you enjoy content like this, Make sure to subscribe and remember my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.